Yeah. I seen him um, go over the falls on a beauty. I, I think it was Powerfish on one of Powerfish's Instagram pages. And he got a, we seen him at McDonald's the next day, and he, he must have knocked his head on his board. He had, he, like, he had stitches in his head and everything. Like, oh, jeez. Just trying to take off really late right behind the rocks at Snapper. It was on that one of the bigger swells, and um, there's solid commitment. But, yeah, he just he just owns that place. He's a local uh, Snapper Rocks or Tweed Heads. Uh, everybody knows. Yeah, everybody. That, that's a tip to anyone. If he's paddling for a wave, don't even bother. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've also heard that. I've also heard that. Yeah, yeah. But he's killing it. I hope I'm surfing that well, you know, even even just keeping in the water and riding that deep when I'm that age. So yeah, yeah. well so, done to him. So even if you're on the inside, don't even bother paddling for yeah, it. Yeah, don't even bother. Just just give him a yell onto it and tell him to hit it. Yeah. That's yeah. my technique. <laughs> and then wait for the wave afterwards. Just go. Try not to go over the falls this time, Oki. <laughs> nah, give him the old... Get it, Oki. Yeah. Yesterday, you got a pearler. Yeah. It's always good to give him a scream onto it. At, at D-Bar or at yeah, Snapper? Yeah, at D-Bar. Yeah, There's right. There's a few nice kegs out there. Oh, wow. Yeah, I, I arrived late yesterday and had a look at Froggies and some of the breaks around there. And after uh, stuck in traffic for a good two and a half hours, I, I wasn't that motivated, unfortunately. I did bring three boards down, but uh, didn't get in the water, unfortunately. But as you look down the beach here, there's still some nice ways peeling through that wind sort of hitting it and making these lefts look quite appealing out there um here we go with heat two of the super groms with frank nutter noah rollins and liam beaton yeah frank's another one from the gold coast bodyboard club i think at the last meet i wasn't there i didn't get to witness it but there was some footage of him um, getting a 10 score ride. Wow. He got a nice barrel and... Um, That's probably how old he is too, 10 years old I'm guessing, around that age. Yeah, I think so and he was, he was pretty stoked with it. He was telling me about it this morning and I think everyone else at the club was stoked with it too. So it was pretty cool to see that um, the footage of him and he got he got nice and shacked and I think he was even saying it went all dark in there and everything. So Wow. Here he goes now on a little right hander just getting pushed off the back unfortunately it's a bit tough there isn't it? it kind of reforms as that tide's coming up and it's um kind of split across the two banks it is yeah a big shout out to all the judges and the business end of the competition down the other end doing a great job down there keeping busy they've it's 100 focus all day um here he is second time in for the day you want to jump in the round in the middle here, bro? Throw that one on and just kneel down for the camera. Back again, my first uh, uh, won the the cadets heat and now the super groms. Hardy Fletcher, congratulations, mate! Very well done. You're surfing really good out there. You got some big scores. Do you think you went better in that heat than the first yeah. heat? Yeah, man, it was so good to watch. Like, um, yeah, like I was saying to all the boys, 10 years old and like such a bright future ahead of you, mate. Like, congratulations on your surfing out there. It's his second time in the booth. Like I was saying, the first interview I had uh, with this young man this morning, we were both as nervous as each other. <laughs> you know, so it's a little bit hard being on camera sometimes. And, uh, you know, you've done a really good job in the water and out of the water. We're really happy to have you at this event, mate. You're surfing so good. So you, you've won your first two heats and you're through to the semi-finals for, for the cadets and the super groms, man. Well done. Give me five. So, such a good job. How would you feel surfing out there? There was some pretty, it was a pretty um, tricky, tricky situation out there, but you made the most of it. Yeah. My rip's like... Pulling you down there. It's getting a bit worse out there, that yeah. sweep, is it? Yeah. Ripping you up to the north end of the beach. Yeah. I saw you try for that ARS, but couldn't ju just couldn't get there. That was pretty nice. Yeah. Uh, You've been landing those lately? Some of them, yeah. Yeah, nice. And it was good to see you got your scores down on the board and then went for something bigger. So it's always good to see the um, shooting for improvement. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a good technique. So hopefully, hopefully you um, have just as much success through the rest of the day, Hardy. Yeah, thanks. So Hardy Fletcher, the winner of Heat 1 of the Super Groms at the Future Pros event here at Chugan Beach with a score of 15.5, winning his heat. Congratulations on winning your second heat for the day. Very thanks. well done. Well I'll done, buddy. See you again at the end of the day, no doubt, mate. You're surfing really well. See ya. Yeah, see ya, mate. Thank you. Good job. Cheers, Frank.
Oop. Yeah, I've already got it. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like we've got a bit of a ripple coming in with that wind. Yeah, a little bit of fluff on the surface at the moment, sort of still cross shore out there. Um, keeping in mind that everybody's got to surf in the same conditions, so, um, you know, it's going to be a little bit harder. I was expecting a little bit of an increase as the tide come in, but in fact it, it looks like it's slowed down a little bit out there. Hopefully we still get some half decent sets roll through for the semis and the finals. Yeah, my motto is if there's a wave out there and there's a, a manoeuvre to be done, it's um, always a good day. Here we go. Oh, it's a free surfer, I think. Free surfer down the beach. A bit old for a Super Grom, that one. A little bit. So we got Tapper on the beach commentary today. He's doing a fantastic event, a fantastic um, job at this event. And, and again, big shout out to all the business end of the competition down there with all the judges. 100% um, focus all day, watching all the competitors in the water and keeping keeping tally of the scores. And and all the um, Gold Coast Bodyboard Club, like such as uh, Silas and yourself, Rob, for helping out this morning. Um, Everyone that's come down, I, I could just drop names all day. Um, there's been, you know, so much help and support, especially from the major sponsors, Inverted Bodyboarding and Convict Bodyboarding as well. Uh, Dreamworld, Vintage Bodyboard Collector are supporting and Surf Lakes, Tim Oliver. There we go, there's all the sponsors there for you. Yeah, and shout out to Burley Bunnings for letting us run the sausage sizzle there to raise some of the money for the event too. Oh, good old bunning sausage sizzle. Can't go past the bunning sausage sizzle. Yeah, it's a, it's been a really good... Uh, we've had two there so far in the last year for the Gold Coast Bodyboard Club, and they've both been really good good days and good turnouts, and they only help improve the sport. Yeah, yeah, we appreciate their support massively. Now, there is a little few waves pushing through now. We've got Warrider in red on this one. Oh, here we go. There's a good opportunity in this one. Dropping down. Pushing the back in. Super Groms. Given that Rollo a crack, but couldn't quite get there. Currently in the lead, we've got Noah. Here's the replay of Frank, Ryder in red. He did a good job to push back in and trim for that section, though. Tried to get under the lip. It'll be tough out there for these uh, Super Groms. These guys are only really young. I think you'd find there'd be a bit of wind blowing back on them, too. So yeah. They'll yep. be getting blowing around a little bit. They're probably lighter than a feather. Yeah, I know how it feels for me sometimes out there when the wind catches you, but I'd imagine it would be a bit more to it for the young ones. Absolutely. I don't have that problem. I've put on 10 kilos since I've had shoulder surgery, so I'm sort of like a brick in the water at the moment. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, feel, I feel like a brick in the water half the time. I need a bigger board. So currently in first place, Noah Rollins. Frank in the red coming in second place and needs a 5.54 to jump into first. And Liam, no scores dropped yet for the rider in blue. Still 11 and a half minutes left. Plenty of, plenty of time for, for some waves. It looks like they've been given the, um, the hardest heat of the day so far. Yeah, the conditions have changed a little bit. Hopefully we don't get any rain washed through. We do have a lot of um, electrical and technical equipment here on the beach for the judges and the Absolute streaming, a lot of expensive equipment. We are under tents, but there's a, a little bit of a wind. We, we came down yesterday and checked it, and um, there was some a fairly strong wind, but it was still cross shore and was still very contestable later yesterday afternoon. Okay. So we're in heat two, round one of the Super Groms. Stay tuned, everybody. Our next one, we've got Van Taylor. Talk about mini Super Groms. Van Taylor, another one of the Taylor boys from the sunny coast. Um, uh, Morris, Morrison Parker and Louis Nutter. Super Groms division in uh, heat three of the Super Groms. So after this one, one more heat of the Super Groms. Then we will be into the semi-finals of the Cadets and they'll definitely be worth watching and sticking around for. The heats scheduled to finish around 1 or 2 p.m. today. So stay tuned for the finals. The, spot, the finals, there's going to be some great bodyboarding. Like I said, these guys, even though they're cadets and juniors, they're really, really surfing strong. You know, um, Kyoto, uh, 
is always good to watch. And last year's winner, Cooper Stewart, spectacular surfing. The Taylor boys, um, yeah, you could name drop all day, but it's uh, definitely going to be worth keeping an eye on. We're just in round one of the Super Groms now. Round one, heat two's just finished. Oh, no. Not sure what's happened there, but the buzzer just went, but it's telling me I've got nine minutes remaining. They might have cut that heat a bit short. Van Taylor just paddling out with his dad, Matt Taylor. These guys, Matt and his uh, wife are amazing for the community and the bodyboarding. They do so much for the for the boys. And um, it's always good to see them down the beach. You know, they're just frothers, super groms. Like, uh, always out there.